I'm Dora Cronin. I work for Pitchfork Farm down here in the Intervale, Burlington, Vermont. Um, standing outside of a fully flooded farmland. That's what's happening right now. Uh, we first got concerned about this on Friday. We were looking at the river graphs to see what was going to happen, and that was when the first reportings of a spike was shown. Um, and having been through this before, uh, the two owners were concerned, and we weren't sure what's going to what was going to happen. Um, but we started preemptively harvesting our most flood flood prone fields that day on Friday to try to prepare and stay ahead of it. Um, over the weekend, we were watching the graph. That's really was the key, it was the, the graph that reports from Essex. Um, watching it to see what the projections were, what's gonna happen. Saturday night, Saturday evening, is when we realized that we were definitely gonna have floodwaters hit our lowest fields and that we needed to get everything out now. So Sunday, we all came down and harvested as much as we could that day, still with the expectation and assumption that not everything was going to flood. Monday is when we realized everything was going to flood um, and just did everything the best we could to get everything out as we could. We had a bunch of volunteers come through. I think the Intervale Center did a, um, a call on social media, and so many folks came and, and helped us uh, get the goods out of the field in time and now we're at the banks of the Winooski right up here. The road flooded today, um, this morning. We, we came in at about nine o'clock uh, to get our deliveries out and at that point there was already water in the road. Um, this main road here that we're standing besides. We, we spent probably like two hours kind of just in our other fields looking at, at the waters coming in and I, I'd say by 11.30 that's when the evacuation was called and we're all out now. Well today um, all of us farmers are linking back up. We're actively meeting as we speak with our canoes, our kayaks, our positive attitudes and we're gonna go paddle around and to be honest that is as far ahead into the future as I can see. I'm Isabella. I was coming down to Winooski to go to a yoga class and now I've been watching the water and um, just wondering what all this flooding is going to do to the community and hoping that things chill out after a little bit. Yeah, we were driving back from a um work retreat up in the Mad River Valley and wanted to come by and see um, where the Winooski was at. Um, and it's uh, huge and uh, yeah, 
very crazy to see this much water. Um, stressful to think about all the people that have been impacted by it. Um, but yeah, it's just a bizarre, bizarre. Uh, my name's Noah Cass. Um, and I think being here right now, um, it we've been around people who have been through, we went, went through Irene in 2011. Um, and that's an event I was not here for, um, but better understand cycles of water and, and um, the way that impacts communities. So being here, we were just around a lot of tribut tributaries way upstream and, and watching the way the watershed like amasses power as it moves downhill. It's, it's like being here versus um, up in the watershed where there's a lot less water, but still like damage. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's powerful. I, it's also terrifying. Um, I think we're in a mo moment where um, it was like the fucking hottest um, year on record. I'm the hottest week on record ever this last week and um, the changes are real and this is, um, yeah, reality for so many people. Vermont, we are often really insulated. So um, being in this moment um, feels, yeah, a little wild, and um, and a lot of folks are, are are going through this around the country and the world. So yeah, yeah. I'm Jake. Um, yeah, we just came from Warren and saw um, yeah how the flood impacted a bunch of the upper and Mad River Valley towns and like yeah those small communities that are nestled in these tiny valleys like the water is just so powerful um, and we're yeah we're here today just to see a spot that we come to all the time and see how it's changed after the storm so yeah it's pretty crazy
My name is Pete, I'm from Burlington. Yesterday I drove to uh, White River and back and I was, watched all this incredible flooding going on through the entire Winooski River Valley. I'm now here at the dam, at the Winooski uh, uh, Essex uh, Dam and I'm just admiring the, the power of the water that's coming over this, uh, this falls. Uh, what this tells me is just how incredibly powerful human, uh, Mother Nature is and how helpless we are against it. And it's very humbling.